But yes. Previously on Master Chef. Be afraid. Be very afraid. Three pressure tests. Are you kidding me? The top eight <gasps> faced a triple threat challenge. On oil. Please. But that's not good. In the fight for culinary survival, Eric's the Eric failed to make the cut. I uh, let myself down. You've raised the bar for every firefight in this country. Never me. forget that. Tonight. Also, this is my last take today before we start watching Master, Master Chef. Okay, chat. Yeah, you watch the episode. Yeah, listen. This is my last take of the day. Okay, okay. Every creator you see right now that's talking shit about, about the meta, they're out of their depth, okay? They all did react segments. They all did crazy shit. They all did the whole thing. And they're molding for God knows fucking what reason. They all did the DMCA. It was like, yeah, but dude, it's because DMCA. They all do DMCA shit. They all did long reacts. They all, and it was like, yeah, but dude, but, dude, but so, so that didn't. Motherfucker watched an entire season of The Boys in two days. I ain't gonna get no fucking lesson on React Andy from motherfucking Soda or any of these motherfuckers, okay? Their arguments doesn't hold more true because they use a different way to do it. Everybody is at the same level. Nobody is a purist. Everybody is a fucking hypocrite cuck shit. Now you fuck what they say. I started doing this, I like it. I'm, I'm continuing. End of story. If we swap, if we do anything, it's because I want to or I don't want to. And that's end of story. I want to hear it. Fuck him. We get that. Tonight. Welcome back. The Magnificent Seven. Woo! Uh, also, the the Naruto. Who the I, I sent him about Naruto on stream two years ago when I sent the DMs to the owner of the show. Not only am I the best dressed in the MasterChef kitchen, my food's starting to look the best here, too. Before we get started tonight, we want to welcome back the incredibly talented chef and our guest judge, Kevin Spraga. Home cooks, it's now time for your next mystery box challenge. On the count of three, please lift your mystery boxes. One, two, three, nothing, nothing. lift. What? What is it? Uh, Cat darn skillet! You all have three of the most useful tools used in any kitchen. A cast iron skillet, a wooden spoon, and a paring knife. Big news is, for this challenge... What the fuck? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> the equipment room is closed. Oh, man. And... What the heck? Really? We have cleared you out, guys. No mixing bowl? You'll have a wooden spoon, a knife, and a cast iron skillet. And that is it. What? That's scary. But we do have some good news tonight. <gasps> the pantry is fully stocked and open for business during tonight's challenge. So you are really only limited by your equipment and your own imagination. Now, a great chef doesn't need to hide behind anything, guys. And to prove that's true, we've invited a world-class chef to cook alongside you. This chef Gordon. runs 30 restaurants around the globe, has too many Michelin stars to even count, and is the owner of one of the most successful culinary empires in the world. It's Gordon, come on it now. Is... Me! Yeah, yeah of course it is. Yeah. Golden yeah. Warlord, are you kidding me? Yeah! yeah. That made my day. Christina and Kevin, I'm going in. Get it. I'm so excited. Gordon Ramsay is going to be cooking right in front of me. Any home cook in America would kill to have this opportunity, <laughs> and I want to learn and soak up as much knowledge as I can from him. I'm pretty watch. Tonight, you're going to have 60 minutes to make us a dish worthy of a massive advantage that could change the course of this competition. Are you ready to make us the best dish of your lives with these three simple tools? Yes, yes chef. chef. Yes, chef. chef. Yes, chef. Your 60 minutes starts now. Now, they're gonna make it steaks, no, no, risottos. No. What's the rush? Right, improvise. All right. In this mystery box, I just have three simple tools. Man, sorry. So going into the MasterChef pantry, I'm trying to figure out ways that these ingredients can help me as tools. Oh, they can't get too plain. They don't have the info. Right in pain like vegetables to oh. help me stir things that are going to help me along the 60 minutes. Let's go, guys. Back to your stations. 
This is a really tough challenge. There's nothing for them to hide behind. They just gotta use what they have at their stations and that's it. It's so true. Now, at this point, we're looking at the top seven home mm -hmm. cooks in all of America and woo, this challenge is a reminder that when you're up against it and you have nothing to hide behind, that's when you really start to what push yourself further and further. This would be a whole lot easier with a fork. Cast iron skillet is probably the nicest piece of equipment that any home can have. You can do so many things in it. Cha, so I cooked this food, steak yesterday. It was boxing. The spirit and the love of what a home cooked meal means. And it was a butter food. onion thyme steak on a cast iron Obviously, skillet. Obviously, the blade of it is much shorter than a chef's knife, but if you know your way around a knife, that paring knife is all you need. Gordon. Yes. So are you going sweet or savory tonight? I'm gonna do both. Oh. oh Christina Pio, I'm gonna do a nice caramelized tartar tan infused oh. with some cinnamon, fresh vanilla, and then a really nice butter pastry on top. Ooh. For you, Kevin, I'm gonna do a really nice pan seared ribeye with some caramelized vegetables, reduced down with a red wine jus. That sounds delicious. I'm gonna watch Chef Ramsay. Jus. Speed up, guys. I am making a tiramisu and a pan seared salmon with a parsley coulis. Watching Gordon cook is like watching Picasso paint. It's amazing. He just works so flawless, and it's so inspiring. I'm doing a ribeye with a pork reduction with mushrooms on the top. I took the salmon with herbs, herbs with plus and spice of and baked potatoes of my wife in New York. Cool, man. I camp in the summers like with my girls with a fire in a cast iron pan, so it makes me really happy thinking about my girls and cooking with them with simple ingredients. OK. You guys have less than 30 minutes. Tenoria, what are you making? Oven roasted chicken thighs with pancetta, root vegetables, and hairy caviar. Now, you've already won one mystery box. Do you think you're going to win another? I like Tenoria. I, I think Tenoria is actually fucking good. She's really good. I the trunk of my car, and I've done that with a pot and a crock pot. So I know this one is the one for me. Chat, we like sure. Tenoria. Thank you so much, Chad. Okay. We like. So, David, what are you cooking for David, us today? David, a little bit of Sean, a little, a little bit. Queso fresco uh, kind of annoying you sometimes. Wrap it in bacon, and I'm going to serve it along with an heirloom tomato salad. Is it frustrating not to be able to go in equipment uh, room? Yeah, I was a little nervous at first, because Sean home, looks I had like all the finest he's tools. Right, so uh, reducing me down to it annoys me. one skillet, one Just spoon, eight. and one knife is going to be tough, but I'm going to do something Nathan that can wow you guys. Less than 15 minutes to go. Almost, almost. I'm gonna use the shopping cart to make a grilled chipotle lamb chop with quinoa and some cherry tomatoes oh, to give it a little okay. flavor, a little color. Lived in a fraternity house for four years, you know? I can open a keg without a tap, and I think it's gonna you know, be maybe a Maybe the metal doesn't have any challenge. chemicals on it though, right? Just under seven minutes to go, guys. Sometimes there's chemicals on metal. And when you All burn right, like that, Sean, it'll be toxic. What are, what are you making? I'm making lamb chops with a cream corn and roasted pearl onions. Back home in Vegas, I have a plethora of gadgets and gizmos. So I grabbed all kinds of stuff to use as tools. I got some stacks of uh, little containers. And you know, you got to do what you got to do in the MasterChef kitchen. All right, well, good so, luck. Thank you very much. Brandy, what's your dish? I have made a tagarashi spice oh, shit. ribeye. And I'm making a mixed mushroom medley sauce. And then I've got a fennel papaya and mango salad. I do a lot of the cooking in our family, so I've accumulated 12 cast iron wow. skillets. They've been passed down Randy's for generations. Insane. One of my cast iron skillets is over 100 years old. Wow. I've got it in the bag. 800 Just over years two old. two minutes to go, guys. Start thinking about plating. All right, now, Kevin, who do you think's gonna knock this challenge out of the park? Tenoria looks focused. She looks like she's in her comfort zone. I actually think David and Sean are gonna knock it out of the park. Because wow. I think we're limiting them, but their mindset is in that high-end mm -hmm. MasterChef quality. Guys, I, I think Gordon goes home. To go. Remember, elegant, high-end, restaurant quality dishes. 10, 9, 8, 8 7, yeah, yeah, If you could comment, chat. You got your station when you're cooking, four, you can go to go and say, three, have you peaked? Two, is, is it one. the end for you? Stop. And then take a spoon and go in his dish. And... Have you tasted this? Is, is, is there enough salt in there? Remember, elegant, high-end, restaurant-quality dishes with these three kitchen tools. Push, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Hands in the air. Yeah, hands in the air. Nice job. Gordon, Chef. every time you cook in this kitchen, it's a joy for the home cooks. And I gotta say, a joy for us. Absolutely. All right, 
I can't wait to see what you made. Certainly. Oh. They look amazing. I left inside a beautiful cast iron caramelized tuft of tan, mm. perfumed with cardamom and fresh vanilla, beautiful star anise. And then oh, here, wow, vanilla. cast iron skillet ribeye, set on a bed of fray spinach, full baby carrots, parsnips, brought together with a rich cognac and red wine vinaigrette. I want to dig into Gordon's two dishes more than anything right now. His plating is gorgeous with his ribeye. His dessert just makes my mouth salivate. It looks absolutely delicious. This dish is amazing. And the fact that he just used these three tools was so inspiring. The cardamom in there is fantastic. That pastry is beautifully flaky. So good. They're just absolutely showstoppers. This is a tough act to follow. But... Yes. Now it's time to take, take a closer weird. look. Throughout the mystery box challenge, the I judges think, taste elements of all the home cooked dishes tastes... as they come yeah, together. They now take one final look. Wow. To choose the top three standouts. Beautiful. And the winner of this challenge will receive a major advantage in the next round. Wow, that's some great looking dishes. <laughs> Those. Are so there are three dishes that we want to take a closer look at. The first home cook used the skillet, the spoon, and the knife to their full potential. This home cook was able to really show their true southern colors. Please step forward. Randy. Tenoria, my queen. Tenoria. Yeah! Yes! yes, I'm so excited I got called. And I did it by going back to good, soulful comfort food. It speaks to people because it's cooked from the heart. And I just proved that today. What do we have? I made for you a crispy skin pan seared chicken thigh, along with roasted vegetables and some sauteed green beans and mushrooms. Now I'm looking for chicken cooked through, no pink, nothing bloody near the bone. It's beautiful and juicy. Very juicy. I knew that getting that fat in that cast iron with everything the... else would make everything taste really good. It's delicious. Yay. You know, I think a lot of people underestimate the flavor that you can really get out of a bone mm -hmm. in chicken. Mm -hmm. And that care is there in your dish. The carrots bring a sweetness. The mushrooms bring an earthiness. It's nice. a very simple but very nicely composed dish. Thank you. Man, this the chicken guy. is really good. I'm excited that you used a chicken thigh, mm -hmm. cooked it on the bone. That keeps it moist. That right. keeps it juicy. It's delicious. Thank you. My pleasure. Yes, this is kind of cool, though. The second kind of bussin, dish like we'd like to take a much closer look at was made by someone who is clearly established themselves as a bit of a front runner. The dish shows great flair. Please Brandy? step up. Sean. Brandy. Brandy, yeah. Right now, this is the most amazing feeling. This is validation that I know what I'm doing with this cast iron skillet. I've been in the top three several times now, so let's hope third time's a charm on this challenge. Describe the dish, please, Brandy. A Takarashi spiced ribeye steak over a mixed mushroom medley sauce, a green papaya and mango slaw, and leek mushroom turnovers with a bacon gastric dipping sauce. Ooh. I cooked with cast iron skillet since the I was a little balls, girl, so but I wanted to show that Lots of different master chef worthy techniques could be used in this one skillet. Right, um, so, come on, it's a little bit. Revised, cooked beautifully. Little turnovers, nice. Maybe caramelize the red onion so it's a little bit more smoky rather than citrusy. I mean, this is the kind of excitement that we're expecting to see at this stage of the competition. Thank you, chef. All right, Miss Brandy. What's in the uh, pastry there? It looks nice and flaky. The pastry is all-purpose flour, lots of butter, salt, and just a little bit of baking powder to help it rise. The turnover is very impressive. I like the filling. It's rich and it's bold enough to hold up against the flaky pastry. You've got great seasoning on that steak, great seasoning in the mushrooms. Nice job. Woo! <laughs> third dish we want to look at was a very close call between our two fine dining guys from Las Vegas. I knew it. Please step forward. Sean. David. David. Yes. yes. OK. I'm pretty pissed off that David's dish is better. We're both fierce competitors, and I want to win every single challenge. But 
David put out a beautiful plate. So when this definitely when pushes loud me harder. This step my game. Makes up. me think of. Tell um, me about your dish. Uh, they would be bacon wrapped stuffed shrimp with a fresh Jerry heirloom Spring tomato show. salad or and anchovy sauce. The stuffing Maury is show. just a sliver of pepper and a little bit of cheese. Just looking at it, it looks like something I want to eat al fresco outside. Looks beautiful. That's what I was going for. I wanted to show that you can do something light, fine dining light, with a cast iron. It's pretty good. Let's see. The shrimp tastes fantastic. Thank um, you. The flavors work together really nicely. The saltiness of the sauce and then the sweetness of the tomatoes are delicious together. If there was one major critique, I would have liked to see the cast iron used in at least one more preparation. But overall, nice dish. Thank you, Wait, Shane. Wait, what? David, it looks peaceful. It doesn't look That's like it's been weird, cooked in a rustic cast iron complaints. skillet. Now, what else is in with the anchovies? They give him less tools. Red wine. And he's mad he didn't and use enough of it? With the, that makes uh, no sense. And some butter and olive oil. Um, here's the thing. Very dangerous when you stuff and wrap a shrimp because it's going to be a little bit too overpowering. But no, the shrimp, I think you've nailed. Great job. Thank you, Chef. Have David. Uh, they were three incredible dishes using only the most basic of tools, and you guys confirmed how good you're getting. Fenoria. David's dish looks like high in dining, but it just looks like an appetizer. It doesn't look like a full dish. The person who entry. made the best dish will receive a huge game-changing advantage. And Brandy, I mean, cast iron five ways. That's pretty impressive. But I'm not sure if Brandy's developed the same flavor that I've got on mine. This person has panache, style, beyond belief. I'm pretty confident the judges are going to like mine best. It's southern and full of flavor, and it looks beautiful. I've got this. The winner of this very difficult challenge. Congratulations. Two. The winner of this very difficult cast iron skillet, knife, and a wooden spoon challenge. Congratulations. Fenoria, come on now. Don't be weird. Brandy. What? What? I am so excited to finally have a winning dish. Yeah. Good job. My cast iron skillet at home is 100 years old. It was my hey. great grandmother's, and she would be so proud that I did so much justice to this piece of equipment tonight. Uh, Brandy, that was unique. David, close second. Uh, Brandy, please come stand over here. Wait, thank you. I was third in the wow. challenge. Brandy, your first big advantage for winning that extraordinary mystery box challenge is that you do not have to cook in tonight's elimination challenge. Excellent. Will the rest of you please come on down to the front? Ludwig Nark? Tell me what you're narking in. Brandy, tonight you'll be making a number of big decisions. But before we give you those choices, like let's snitching. show all of you what you have to cook tonight. Oh, no, I didn't tonight. see these on YouTube. I don't watch YouTube. It's summertime out, and we wanted to put something together in the MasterChef kitchen that goes hand in hand with a beautiful day. A beautiful, shareable, and utterly romantic. Bottom alone. Picnic? Picnic platter. Here we have beef sliders, scotch eggs, lobster rolls, handmade potato chips, heart shaped cookies, and tuxedo strawberries. What? This looks like a Gordon Ramsay picnic. Definitely not one of my picnics. Usually when I have tuxedo a picnic, it involves strawberries. Booze. Maybe some cheese. Scotch egg, I have no idea what to do with that. This is gonna be very hard. Now, this is a lot to complete on your own. So Team you won't up. have to. Because tonight, this gorgeous spread is gonna be made by teams of two. What? Brandy will decide uh, who's paired up for tonight's tag. picnic challenge. However, this isn't just any old elimination challenge. This is a MasterChef classic, the Tag Team Challenge. Brandy, who'd you really like to see sent home tonight? Gordon. John. Sarge. John needs to go home. Who do you think he would struggle with in a Nathan, team? Nathan, come I on. I want to give him someone that... Nathan, not just... ...not going to listen very well to him. Yeah, yeah, Nathan. I'm giving him Nathan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. finally some common sense on this bitch ass. Working with Nathan's going to be tough. 
I don't like how frantic he is in the kitchen. I don't like how he freezes under pressure. Sure. I need to handle him with delicate kid gloves. Finally, some kind of in here, dude. To the next team. Who is the second person in the perfect world that you'd love to send home tonight? David. He's a great team player. Yeah. But I think when he's the one leading, he struggles. So who's the ball and chain? Katie is David's ball and chain. Brandy says I'm not a leader. She has no idea about me. I can lead. It's whether Katie can listen. So, team one, Sean paired with Nathan. Team two, David paired with Katie. Please and throw. team three, Tenora paired with Dan. Randy, your work here is done. Please head up to the balcony where you'll guys, have guys, the best. Guys, strategically, Nathan knows he can't win the whole show. Big idea. You throw on purpose and you throw him under the bus. View in that house tonight. You throw on purpose and you throw wow. Sean under the bus. Now, tonight in this challenge, it's you will a, it's not be cooking together win. at the same time. Let's be honest. Listen carefully, here's how it's gonna work. One of you starts cooking and your partner must stand at the end of your station. When we shout, switch, you will trade positions. You'll have 60 minutes to make us a beautiful MasterChef quality picnic platter. Okay teams, please head to your stations. Everything you need has been placed in the station behind you. Live lobster, pork sausage, eggs, Parmesan cheese, Italian breadcrumbs, and a variety of condiments and sauces. Right, is everybody ready? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Your 60 minutes starts now. No. Okay. Come on, get a big pot of water okay. going. Let's go, let's go. You get some egg one, don't forget about that. Get the cookies in the oven, and then we gotta peel the potatoes. Picnic, yes. what's on it? Well, this is one of the most sophisticated picnics yeah. anywhere in the world tonight. This is the MasterChef Picnic Platter. No, Egg no, in the no, same no. Prioritization, OK? You need to focus on, first of all, the lobster rolls. Got it, got it, got it. You obviously need to poach the lobster, and then the lobster mixture, right? The right seasoning, yep. the right spice. Uh, stop, 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 stop. From there, something that I grew up with, Scotch eggs. So you've got to soft boil the egg properly first. Right. Deshell it, right? Enrobe it with that pork, and then cover in breadcrumbs, shallow fry it, and then put it in the oven. Flour the surface, right? Just a little bit, not too much. And of course, those heart-shaped cookies are the real essence of technique and finesse. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. You have the cookie dough, you need to roll it out, not too thick, not too thin. Right. Evenly, evenly. After that, the chips, and then sliders. This burger patty's gotta be the right size. They can't be too thick, they can't be too thin. And they damn well better be seasoned inside. Yeah. What are you looking for? I'm getting the main one. No, no, I can get it, I can get it. Just finish what you're doing. Let's talk about the team. Sean is gonna struggle big time getting through to Nathan, and Nathan's gonna struggle. He's dancing. Jesus. Nathan, Nathan, look at Nathan. I'm looking I, at you, but I'm also looking at this, okay? What about the other teams? What do you think about David and, and Katie? You gotta go faster on those eggs, Katie. I, I can't break them apart. Can David contain that aggression? We're spending too much time taking Hello? off some eggshells. What yeah. about Dan and Tenoria back there? She's given a lot of direction. Dan, we're rolling out a lot of cookies, honey. That's way too small. Dan, come on, dude! If Dan can be a yeah, student, I can tell him. Tell this story, boy, well, man. But don't yell at me. It freaks me out, okay? Guys, we oh, got one minute to oh your first Oh my god, who Damn fucking it, who, dude? Come on, Dan, I need you to move it, a little got bit it. faster. You gotta cut a little faster, man. You gotta work a little faster, brother. Sorry, Sean. Three, two, one, swing! Watch out. You got it, come on, you got it, you got it. Come on, David. Get that chocolate melting for the strawberries. Sean, check the lobster. Hey, stir that white chocolate, stir that white chocolate. All right. Calm down. Get the lobster. It's done. You want me to fry the potatoes? You can just start Ooh. getting the, the veggies chopped okay. and get the meat patty formed. Yeah, that, that, delicate that fingers, scares baby. me. You got this. See this? You got this. Perfection. Great job, Tenoria. Sean, oh, uh, Sean, um. I'm gonna get these patties going. I'm gonna uh, set those right there. I already seasoned them, just salt and pepper. We're gonna be good. Okay. Wow. 30 seconds to the next switch, guys. What do you want me to do next, Dan? Get the meat ready. I trust your seasoning. Finish those potatoes, finish the potatoes. Uh, all right, so what's that for? Get the potato chefs going. Three. Two, That's in question. Oh, okay, right, Dan, focus again. on the potato chips. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Speed up, guys. Sonoria. Yes, sir. How are these chips looking? When do they need to they come out? They are looking out? good, but it, he is cutting it close. They need to come out. And then those scotch eggs got to go absolutely, in. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, who's finishing? Remind me. I'm finishing. You're finishing. Wonderful dance. All right, scotch eggs in. Scotch eggs in. That beat's got to cook. 
I like a little bit of gold on the chips, though. A little, a little gold in really there. I'm he's surprised. I'm surprised. He's, he's taking okay. direction. He's giving me good direction. Good. Keep talking. Good luck. Good job, you know, like Dan. That, like the Cape Cod chips. Oh, my God. Him. Just get him down. We're running out of time here, brother. We got to go. For MS ready here. Don't spend too much time. You're taking too long with that. Get those in the oven. 60 seconds to go. Do your switch. Come on, Nathan. You got to go faster. No, nope. fast and safe, Nathan. Fast and safe. Is this enough? You're good. Just get him in the fry. Fast and, and safe. And pull out a sh uh, not one by one, Nathan. <laughs> All right. He has to stop multitasking. I know. I know. He's Otherwise, going you're on Nathan, your own. let's I... go, brother. I can I need your help right I... now. You got to go faster, brother. You got to go faster. Don't get frazzled. Stay calm. You guys have 10 seconds. Oh, my gosh. Nathan, relax. Is he going to cry? Let's go. Let's go. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Finish that up right now. Get that last egg done. We gotta get those in the fryer. <sighs> what? What's wrong? These eggs, they're very delicate. You gotta do them perfectly or they break. Um. Take a couple breaths, brother. I need you to breathe. Don't focus on me. Focus on the freaking I, I eggs. I know. Well, then relax. This guy. You okay? Uh, no. I'm... Nathan, <clears throat> sit down. Sit, just take a seat two seconds. Get a drink. Get a drink. Take a drink. Take a drink. Take a drink. Jesus. Get yourself together. Take a big, deep breath and think. How are you going to help Sean and yourself through this? Yes, okay, sir. but without the panic. Yes, sir. You feeling better? Yes, sir. Okay, good. All right, Sean. Let's go. When we switch, I'm going to slice the cabbage and all that stuff for the sliders. These scotch eggs look like they might be done. All right, I'm coming. Be careful with that egg. What is get those happening? wrapped up so we can get those in the fryer. Katie, how are you guys doing down here? We're doing good right now. We just yeah. got to keep it up. Let's get that rolled and let's get those dropped. We need that drop. You got You know what you're doing start. over there? We got to get it. We got to get it. Before feeling good, Chef. I feeling good. I got to finish the lobster up, so you got to get these dropped in. Got it. I got it. How long did it boil the eggs? We got them five minutes. We didn't want to do them for six mm -hmm. because they're going to cook a little when they're in the fryer. You got this, David. Come on. You got to wow. drop them in. Take what are you going to accomplish David. next? What are you jumping in the next? Lobster rolls. Well, good luck with that. Sean. Ah, these eggs are not working. Slice that lettuce. Sean. Quickly, baby. Quickly. Okay, okay, okay. Sean. David, start figuring out what else we're short on, brother. What else do we need? I can't lose you right now, brother. I need you. Nathan, vocal, come on. Nathan, Nathan, talk to me, talk to me. Where's the scotch eggs, Sean? They're, they're scratched, Chef. We didn't have enough eggs. I, I screwed them up. You don't what? take any scotch eggs. Oh, man. Nathan, there's no scotch eggs. Wow. One minute until the next switch. Hey, 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 Okay, dude. Oh my god, Nathan's just collapsed. Okay, dude. One minute until the next switch. Come on, are you guys ready to go home? Nathan, um, Nathan, don't freeze up on me now, man. Nathan, I need you to... Oh! Oh my god, Nathan's just collapsed. I'm good. I'm good. Okay, I'm okay, good. Sit down, sit down, sit down, sit down. Give me a chair. Give me a chair. I'm good. All right, keep cooking. Keep cooking. I'm going to calm down. Hey, look at me. Hey. hey. Oh, I'm not going to. No, no, we're going to stay. No, no, we're going to stay calm. We're going to stay calm. Jesus. It's not worth it. Okay? We're doing a great job. Okay? It's not over. Big deep breath. Come on. Okay. Fill up those lungs. There you go. My okay. Come on. You can do this. There you go. Okay? There you go. Dude, now just start thinking about your next five minutes. What are you going to do? How you can pull this back? Chart. Okay. Right. Cooking the sliders. Yeah. Okay. Assembling the rolls. Dude, okay. where are the Oscar awards for fucking cooking shows, dude? Start this whole thing together. Okay. Fucking Let's first go. nominee, my Let's dude. Go. Nathan, I want you to come in and start working Coming on those strawberries and the cookies, right? Before the next switch. When I come in, I'm going to cook the burgers, okay? Get the cookies. Get the cookies moved over. All right. Three, two, one. Come on. Focus on the cookie. Come on, come on, come on. Go, 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 go. Use his phone. You got to be very careful so you don't break the cookie. Guys, let's go, brother. Spread Make it out. Make chance home today for sure. You're taking too long. Next, the burgers. All right, John, what else? Your Americanized package content. The burgers, don't let them burn. They're beautiful. As soon as those are done, let's cut your buns. Let's toast those off so they're ready to go. The burgers are almost done. When okay. you come in, finish them. Check those buns. Are they burning? Pull them off. Pull them off. 90 seconds to go. We've got our last switch. Here we go, guys. Get the lobster roll bun. They're burnt. How's that lobster looking? It's cooked perfectly. Check these eggs. Are they looking good? They're beautiful. Our scotch eggs opened up. Come on, tighten them back up and get them back in that oil. No way. Come on, come on, come on. There. Good. It's a V. Come on, Katie. You got to move. Three, two, two one. one. Switch. 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 Switch.
All right, you got it. Just finish that job. Get the rolls off. Get the lobster meat on there, and then we got to get the celery on the top. Let's floor. go. They're nice and toasty. You can pull off any of the black part. Do All right, it. Y'all, what is it? There. Come on, David. Got it. All right, we got to have the champagne poured. We got to have the potato chips in the bag. This tenseness doesn't rolls. fucking Unsimple. stop, dude. We got to get the lettuce. Come on, David. We don't have long. We got to still do the champagne. Sean, get the strawberries on the platter, though. I know, Nathan. I got you. Sean. Lettuce. Sean. Get the vines on there. Sean. Come on, you need to be working on these Sean? strawberries, Tenoria. Get the strawberries on the plate, though, right. please. I got you. Please. I, Nathan, calm down. We don't worked so hard for those. We're not going to let them go now. Come on, David. Get the fries in the bag. 90 seconds to go. Plate them. Plate them. Plate them. Plate them. Come on, come on, please. They ain't pretty, but they'll work. Come on, we gotta hurry, David. We still oh, gotta get the champagne. I'm about the we cheese, got the desserts, though. we got the sandwiches, we got the potato chips. Oh, no, 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 that's not a safe place. 20 seconds to wow, go. Wow, this is intense. Hurry, Sean, hurry, 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 please, 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 please. Oh, my God. David still gotta open the champagne. David, get that champagne, champagne open. David. David. Champagne, come on. Come on, David, get in that. Get in that champagne bottle. Come on, we got come it. Come on, man. Ten, nine, Damn it. eight. Seven, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and Well, that was not a romantic 60 minutes. David, how are you feeling? Pissed off. Oh, Why? Shit. We didn't get everything done. Katie, how are you feeling? Disappointed. Right. Time to taste your dishes. First up, David and Katie. Look at you did that point. You can try Even to... though we fought a lot and I got a lot of attitude from David, our flavors are spot on. Our Could cook is spot on. it, perhaps? I am so nervous, but I really think that David and I did a good job on this picnic platter. So, I'm not bothered that there's not champagne in this class. It's obviously a cooking competition, not a spirits competition, but David, your temper came out like I've never seen it. Oh, boo-hoo. For me, if that happened in my kitchen, real talk, you'd be kicked out. When you're throwing something on the ground like that, well, I don't think she's a kitchen, she's a bakery, so tell them. You wouldn't be sticking around for long. Jeez. David, your temper came out like I've never seen it. For me, if that happened in my kitchen, real talk, you'd be kicked out. Real talk for real for real. Yes, I'm just <clears throat> very passionate about competing. And I was disappointed in myself that I couldn't get that bottle open. It frustrated me. So you got to keep that under control. I get being passionate, but you got to show your passion in another way. No, I'm embarrassed, and I apologize. OK, let's okay. get into this. Lobster rolls, not a good look. Who did what? I poached the lobster, I got it out. She diced it, she started, I finished the mayonnaise mixture. Great chive, great red onion. Just wish there was more lobster. Nice flavor though. Crisps. Potato crisp, I had originally shaved them, got them going, got them out, she seasoned them. The chips are delicious. These cookies, nice bake, it's not raw, it's not over toasted. The cookies was all Katie. Nice job. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Right, Scotch eggs. They look awkward. Yes. Look really awkward. Visually, it looks like T-Rex is bollock. Yeah. These things got to be elegant when I cut this. T-Rex is bollock. Should be a soft bald egg. And the inside is cooked beautifully. Okay. Yolk in the center, stunning. Really oh, I good. I said hard world, sorry. Really good indeed. Who cooked the eggs? I got them in the water. She peeled them. And she wrapped two of them. I wrapped the third, and then I and got them in the fryer. Beautiful. Sliders. Who cooked them? I put them on, and she pulled them off of the grill. Beautifully cooked. Who seasoned the patty? I did. Katie. She did everything. Yeah. Fuck no. Tastes good. Really good. Some great elements on here. Good job. I do feel as though the judges enjoyed what we brought, but I think David's anger in the end may have lost it for us. David, I don't think you and I are going on another picnic together. Okay. Funny. Not anytime soon. Should have lied. Now we would like to taste Dan and Tenoria. We did get everything on the platter that was required. It's not perfect, but what they asked was freaking hard. So I'm gonna pat myself on the back and be proud of what um, me and my partner did. Who cooked the buns? They're uh, that I those buns. shard. Uh, I'm gonna start with the scotch egg. How come there's only two? The third one exploded completely, including the yolk. Ooh. 
a little too runny, huh? Oh, See, this shit. is a problem for me. That egg white, Ooh. all droopy like that, it's not cooked enough. Tell him. It's missing his tuxedo, huh? Yes. <laughs> what happened to him? Sorry, I took care of the strawberries. I mm. started the strawberries. The white chocolate was not no, firm enough see, before no. getting the milk chocolate on. If that was a romantic platter for two, would you go on a second date with Dan? I yeah. wouldn't go on a first date with Dan. Wow. <laughs> oh, damn. Thank you, guys. All right, Sorry. Let's see what we got here. Well, I should just cook them. Now, you guys can see the center of that there, right? It's a weird looking situation. You've got some color, you've got some pieces of like raw, rare meat in, in places. Yeah, how does that happen? Gray meat in others. Who was cooking the burger? I started with putting uh, the burgers down, and then Dan took them off. Meat's actually seasoned pretty well. Lobster rolls. Nice seasoning, but I'd like to see just a little bit more finesse. It's clear that you guys were attempting to work as a team, but at the same time that you weren't successful in it. It's just a matter of where you fall in line in terms of best to worst tonight. I'm not feeling too great about this picnic platter after the judges' review. Dan and I worked well together. We communicated Audio? well. But pretty good is not I master chef it. quality. Looks fine to me. Last up, Nathan and Sean, please. Grab the champagne. This was definitely 100% the most difficult challenge that I've had in the MasterChef kitchen. Not only was the food difficult, but handling Nathan was extremely difficult. Now it's in the judge's hands. Wait, this looks Let's fine. Let's the elephant in the room. Wait, they, something missing. they popped off. Missing. Oh. Empty basket. Yep. Uh, Scotch eggs, where are they? They did not get finished, Chef. Why not? The eggs were undercooked, and I had problems getting them out of the shell. Seriously? That's fine. Uh, uh, Can we deal with a second elephant in the room? Lobster roll. Oh, guys. It looks under. It's raw. Who cooked Wait. the lobster? I started it, he finished it. So you cut up the lobster knowing it was raw? Yes, chef. Sliders. Let's deal with the third elephant in the room. How many elephants? Who cooked the sliders? You can cook them, chef. I cooked them, chef. You can cook, Nathan, right? Yes, chef. What does the, the cheese. slider look like look to at you the from cheese. there? It looks very oh. raw, chef. It's not it's Sean's fault. What? You should throw, throw one of the bus. Oh, shit! The burgers are still raw. Yes, chef. Who seasoned it? I seasoned the outside and the inside. <coughs> I felt like I had to spend so much time calming him down that everything else got put secondary. You can throw him under the bus when I'm you wish. I'm not throwing him under the bus. Yeah, yeah. You have yeah. to start taking responsibility. I dropped the ball. Yeah. We completely dropped the ball. It was a show. I mean, uh, I'm lost for words. Can't eat the burger. And as for the lobster roll, well, that deserves to be back in the tank. Yeah. Guys, the meat is see-through, dude. Sean and Nathan, uh, I'm lost for words. Can't eat the burger. And as for the lobster roll, Can't eat it. that deserves to be back in the tank. This platter completely sums up your performance across the last 60 minutes. A bloody mess. What a shame. Well, Damn. I'm definitely extremely nervous right now. Brandy might have hit the target dead on with me. I can't believe I'm saying this, but I may be packing up and heading back to Vegas tonight. They, they did it fine. They, they, they win this. Three teams of two competed tonight, and there was one picnic platter that certainly stood out. These two will now become team captains in our next Oh, she challenge. talked shit, now she's going to be well against done. them. David. David and Katie. Yeah. We think of David. We'll Sorry, take guys. a Katie. Head up to the balcony. Kind of annoying, Katie, sometimes, Whoa, but. Yes, he did. We were top six, baby, and I'm so excited. Even though we battled it out, we were victorious. Now I just got to do this five more times. Now, one more team is safe from elimination. The team that is safe and heading up to the balcony in the top six. Brandy. Is... Uh, to turn around then. Dan and Tenoria. Tenoria. Yes, sir. Head up to the balcony. It's done. It's done. Which means, Nathan and Sean, you two had the worst picnic Nathan's basket Nathan's out. Tonight. Guys, they juiced them out. Then. Nathan, you didn't contribute a whole lot over that 60 minutes. It was really disappointing, because you could have brought more to your team. Chef. Sean, 
I wanted to see a lot more of you rising to the occasion, but you struggled over that last hour. Yes, sir. Take a shot. No. Nathan. Your time is done. I'm sorry to say, Nathan. Wait, uh, reverse bait? Tonight, you're leaving the MasterChef kitchen. Ooh. Sean, head up to the balcony. You do a lot, though. <laughs> but Gordon's thinking about all the missed content. And she's Nathan, trying to plot a way to get him back in. That challenge got the better of you, and you got a little bit frustrated. But think of what you've achieved. We know you haven't had an easy journey, but uh, if there's one thing that's confirmed, you're never, ever going to have to take crap from anybody ever again. You know, throughout this competition, you guys have taught me amazing things, and I'm not going to forget that. I feel like I've learned so much about, you know, being me, embracing who I am. No matter what people say, I'm not going to quit being me. What about the cooking, though? We'll say goodbye. Head up high. Hey, come on. We're so proud of you, Nathan. We'll miss you, bud. <laughs> Place your apron on top. Take your... Day one, when I came into the MasterChef kitchen... Rip bozo. I was labeled the quirky kid. Oh, I wonder why. Oh, oh sorry. Spill! Spill! He's losing his mind, man. And at first, I was scared coming here. You are one of the youngest. And tonight, it oh, showed shit. that lack of maturity. But being here on MasterChef taught me to really stand up for myself. I'm tired of taking you guys' crap. I'm trying to ask you, please don't treat me like an idiot. Growing up, I was bullied a lot, and I made it to top seven. I proved to those bullies out there that I could make it further than anyone expected me to. The blue team! <laughs> nice job. What do you say now to all those people? I say you can't do it. I say they're wrong, 100%. I still proved I was someone great. Yeah, I didn't give an answer ever. Hi, brother. And I'm excited to see what God has in store for me next. Dear Twitch chatters, now that you guys have been exposed to our science next experiment, time. Yeah, one more. Chat, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll do only one. He Fuck has it. Begun mastering Fuck it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Elon has absorbed Sean aka Elon 15 and soon your life. Oh, just yeah. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna log into RP, but fucking, I'll do one more. We'll do one more. We'll do one more.